So the next section we have to look at is target audience. So just like every other section before and every, every other section after this, I always, always recommend any report, any document you're writing, describe or explain or get a reference for the thing you're going to speak about, right? So this whole heading is called target audience, right? So the first thing you should ideally have is what does target audience actually mean? And I'm going to go back to my original statement where I say, I should be able to hand this to another teacher, another person. Once this person understands the English language to a certain degree, they should be able to understand everything happening in your report. It should be detailed enough that an engineer can pick it up and say, oh yeah, I know what to do here, or, or I understand this. But it should also be detailed and clear enough if a normal lay person who knows nothing about IT picks up your report, they should be able to understand most of it. So what does target audience mean? Find a nice Google reference, um, sorry, website and reference it. Now you can reference any way you want. I believe I've shown a few examples here. Yes. So this is the way I prefer doing it. It looks a lot neater, but if you do it this way as well, that's fine. But speak to your teacher. Your teacher will know exactly what to tell you is the best way that he or she wants it done. So here I have the list of things that I got from that document again. And the list of things are social networker, seeker, gamers, buyers, age profile, and gender. So you're going to ask yourself these questions. Is your website a social networker? I believe I have a student doing, funny enough, Tinder. <laughs> I believe I have another one doing Facebook and maybe one doing Instagram as one of their websites. So these websites are social networker websites. You go here to actually meet and speak to people, interact with people in some way. Um, is your website for gamers? So you're going to, sp okay, let me go back. You're going to speak about or give a sentence as to what your website is typically about. You might have said it in a different way in the introduction or the purpose already, but down here, because it's target audience, we need to target these specific points to pull out the type of people that go to our website. So let's just say it was one of those websites I mentioned earlier. Um, my website is a social network, a website because it does these things, because it allows users to do these things, right? If, uh, is it for gamers? I have a student doing, um, What's this one called again? Twitch and YouTube, I believe. Yeah, so I think I have someone doing Twitch and YouTube, right? Now, there is Twitch is generally gaming stuff, but it does everything as well. There's YouTube and there's YouTube gaming, right? Which uh, Whichever one you want to choose is perfectly fine. But if the websites you're reviewing is for games, right? IGN would probably be for games. It, it has every single thing on there, but you could go to the section and say, okay, I'm doing the games section of IGN. Whatever the case is, is perfectly fine. So for this one, you might say something along the lines of, my website is a website for gamers. This is so because, or uh, this is because, or maybe not the best way to word it, but my website is for gamers and then state why it's for gamers. Maybe you're doing, uh, what's that website called? GameSpot, where they used to review games, or maybe you're doing the actual game website where they actually sell games. That's definitely for gamers, right? You do the same thing for buyers. All right, I'm going to move on. These three are pretty much similar. Now, age profile. Uh, what is the age profile of the people who normally use this website? Some websites will actually give you this information, right? So let's just say age profile uh, for IGN. Let's see if we have something there. Maybe we don't. Age profile. Let's say YouTube is quite a big one age profile for YouTube, right? I'm sure you'll find some websites somewhere. I won't click on all of these, but I'm sure you'll find some websites somewhere that tells you the age profile of the people who typically use YouTube, right? So what is the age profile? Um, or you could say, what is the age profile of people who like doing this thing in general, right? So let's just say I like this software very much. It's called DaVinci Resolve, a really good editing software, right? but I'm probably not going to find information about the type of people that use DaVinci Resolve, as in the age profile of people that use DaVinci Resolve. So the alternative, the alternative could be find the age profile of people who typically edit videos, right? So rather than speaking about this one specific item here, I can say the people, so uh, let me do age profile of most video editors. There we go. We have a nice age profile here. 
it might not be from the most reputable website ever, but you can find other websites and that can be your age profile because your website doesn't have any information on the age profile for their website, for their service. Use the general one across the board. So this is like the average. Let me go back. Right, so DaVinci Resolve would be mine. The general age profile of that would be uh, probably going to be mostly males. Here we go. Is white. 64% of, of them are white and most likely going to be males, I'm assuming, right? Uh, let's go back to the questions again. Uh, what is the gender profile? Again, more or less the same thing. Some websites will have a gender profile. Some might not. If they do not have a gender profile, do exactly what I did here which is what is the typical gender profile of people that use this service. I think I have another student doing Sky Sports and another sporting website. So age profile of Sky Sports viewers, All right? Here we go. Uh, again, you're, you're going to find some information on some website somewhere that gives you information on the type of people that watch Sky Sports. Even if your website is about sports, but not exactly about Sky Sports, what you can do, as I've said, is look at the general audience for that type of thing. So who are the people that typically watch the football, right? It's probably going to be young boys, um, middle-aged men, and that's it. Uh, what kind of website is it? So quick review for target audience, you're going to define what target audience is then simply go into finding the target audience of the people who use this website, who use this kind of service. If you cannot find exactly for your website, you look for a general average across the UK, across the world, whatever you decide to use, but you have to reference it. Again, whatever information you find anywhere, you reference it. So going back again, the type of people who typically watch football are probably going to be, I would say, teenage boys up to middle-aged men. Reference that website. Sky Sports might not have that information on their website, but we know that we can go and look at other stats in other places to find similar information.